Top general in charge of U.S. forces in the Middle East says more American troops may be needed in Syria to defeat ISIS there. This comes as we learn just how dangerous things are getting for American troops in Iraq. Pentagon producer Lucas Tomlinson has specifics tonight. As a new battle begins against ISIS in western Mosul, a candid admission about what U.S. troops are facing very close to the front lines. They have uh, come under fire at different times. They have returned fire at different times uh, in and around Mosul. A U.S. defense official tells Fox a number of soldiers were recently wounded in Mosul but declined to say how many. <laughs> Soldiers from the 101st Airborne Division have been supporting the four-month-old offensive against Mosul much closer to the fight, after fighting ISIS mostly from the air for more than two years. Ahead of President Trump's 30-day deadline for a new plan to defeat ISIS, the top U.S. commander for the Middle East told reporters traveling with him more American forces may be needed next door in Syria to finish off ISIS inside their headquarters in Raqqa. Quote, we might bring potentially more of our assets to bear if we need to, as opposed to relying on our partners. There could be other forces that we potentially bring in to do this. General Votel says one option could be deploying artillery units to Syria for the first time. In Mosul, weapons like this HIMARS system are deployed to fire GPS-guided artillery rounds against some 3,000 ISIS fighters remaining in the city. B-52 bombers, Apache gunships, and other fixed-wing jets currently being used in the Mosul fight could also be used to ramp up operations in Raqqa. Patrolling the eastern Mediterranean, USS George H.W. Bush has conducted nearly 150 strike missions against ISIS in Syria since arriving earlier this month. U.S. officials in Baghdad, those leading the fight against ISIS, have already submitted their request to the Pentagon ahead of next week's deadline. Uh, we've provided our input to uh, General Botel. And General Votel, uh, my understanding, has provided those uh, to the chain of command. So at this point, where we are with that is uh, we're awaiting uh, decisions.